اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT for literature review. I do plan to do a more detailed session on using ChatGPT for different sections in the literature review. But this session is important because it will give you an introduction of using ChatGPT with another important tool that is illicit.org. Now you can ask a research question here and it will give you an answer. Now we will be introducing the concept or the tool illicit.org with ChatGPT and how both can be used to produce quality research. Now again, a word of caution, there is no alternative to reading. Just do not rely too much on these AI tools because they won't tell you where to put what information and how to link it with other sections of your study. They are just going to provide you with the information. It's only the reading that will help you understand how to link it with other sections and how to be more critical in terms of writing a research paper or research thesis. Now moving on, let's say I've got this topic or this sample framework here. My interest is in finding how servant leadership influences environmental behavior and the journal that I'm planning to publish in is related to leadership. Let's say it is any journal on leadership. Now, and my gaps revolve around leadership as well. So my start of my research paper will be, or the introduction will be focused on leadership, its importance, the gaps pertinent to servant leadership and how the leadership, servant leadership specifically influences the other variables in my study and whether or not there has been any research with regards to these variables or not. Now, let's say I want to type in or find out the value of servant leadership. So let's ask ChatGPT, what is the value slash importance of servant leadership for modern organizations. Now let's copy this whole question as well and press enter. Now let's ask elicit the same question. Press enter. Now it is more referenced. So you've got the servant leadership, this whole paper, papers, papers, and then they've got their summary. And let's see if we click on it, what we get. Now this is the summary of this whole paper. This is the abstract and the outcomes that they measured. Can I trust this paper? No, the mention, no mention of study type funding source. So these details are not mentioned. And these are the citations. So let's say ask a question about this paper. So you can ask a question about this paper as well. Let's close it. So let's say I want PDF as well. So let's ask if Illicit can give us the PDFs. So here it is. So there are a few PDFs available as well. So let's say you can have other details as well. You can have interventions, you can have outcomes, number of participants. So you can use it even for your systematic literature review. Finding out whether servant leadership has been related with a particular kind of variables or not. Obviously, this will give you a summary here. So for now, let's have, so this is how you can use illicit.org, although it, it is not giving you that detailed information that you might be looking for, but it can give you an overall picture as to what has been done with regards to a particular concept in research. And then obviously you can look into and open the papers in PDF format as well and see how many people have cited a particular work and then you can open that paper as well. Now let's go back. Let's go back to the home page. And that's it. So what is the impact of create creatine on cognition? So there are different obviously types of searches that you can do. Let's say I search, is there a research on servant leadership 
on environmental behavior. Let's see if we get something. So, yes, there is some research. Here it is. So, it is giving you the journal rank as well. This is a good thing. So, you know, it's a quality journal. Now, obviously, this information may not be available with regards to this particular paper because I know this is a quality work by Van Denendonk. So, yes, there has been some research on servant leadership and environmental behavior. Now, this will help you situate your own research. Now, you think that there is no research, but when you go towards these websites, these tools, they give you that particular information that, yes, there has been some research. And similarly, you can ask, let's say, how can I measure servant leadership? Let's say if I'm looking for certain measures. So are there any tools to measure? Yes, there are a few tools to measure servant leadership. So this is how you can use illicit.org on its own for finding an answer with respect to your research area. But now let's use it with ChatGPT. So here it is. Now ChatGPT has given me some information with regards to the importance of servant leadership for modern organization, but I need a few references. So let's say servant leadership So I can copy some of the text from here, maybe read it, reconceptualize that particular text and write it here to get proper reference for that particular argument. Let's say how to do it. Let's say increased employee engagement and motivation. So let's ask Illicit to give me some reference. How can servant leadership help in employee engagement and motivation press enter and you might find papers that have talked about or written about these particular arguments just open those papers read it and use them as a reference because obviously one of the drawback of using chat gpt is that it is very limited with respect to its references Let's say since I'm working on pro-environmental behavior, not just servant leadership. Now, this is the model that I'm working on. So let's change my query a bit. Why is servant leadership important for environmental behavior? Now again, I do plan to do a whole series of uh, sessions on what to write in each of the sections in a research paper or thesis and how to use these AI tools for each of those uh, sections. So just it's, it's in process. Hopefully uh, those will be uploaded soon as well. Now here it is. So collaboration, obviously. So it says that servant leadership can foster an, env an environment where team members so let's say let me copy this directly let me copy this and put it in illicit and let me ask illicit for it how can servant leadership foster an environment where Team members feel empowered to share ideas and work together. Let's say we'll break it down. Let's say work together for improved sustainability. Press enter and let's see if we get something. Here it is. So you can use now ChatGPT for developing your arguments. Now to support your arguments with the references, you can use Illicit. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to use ChatGPT and Illicit together to 
provide more critical literature review. Thank you very much.